Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Sweet Art Crafts. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys some holiday slash Christmas inspired charms that I showed on my IG stories, I think a week ago. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Before getting into epoxy resin, I want to reiterate the epoxy resin safety that I mentioned in my last video. Make sure that you are wearing gloves with long sleeves and you're wearing a um, full face respiratory mask. This is a mask that I use with um, vapor filters, but the mask that I'm about to show is the proper one. And also make sure that you're in a well ventilated room. The molds that I'll be using in this video are mostly molds that I make and sell on my website. And I'm also using a Dollar Tree candy mold that I found in the Christmas section. And these are the paints that I'll be using for um, painting my molds. I know I have a dedicated video showing you guys how I paint my molds and my charms. But I know I get a lot of questions still asking me how did you get these colors and stuff like that. So I'm just going to add this into this video showing me painting them. And then after I've painting painted all my molds I'm actually gonna wait maybe like 20 minutes before I actually start pouring in the resin because you want to make sure that the paint is completely dry because if you don't it will not come out like perfectly it will like you'll see like paint still wet when you um, demold the resin charms I'm going to be using two resins in this video. I'm going to be trying out liquid diamonds and I actually really like this resin. It's a two to one ratio and also pro marine table talk epoxy. This is also my other favorite resin. And these are the paints that I actually used in the resin that I colored and as well as the um, glitters and pigments that I used. I'm going to try to leave everything down in the description box below but I already know some of these stuff are not available anymore because I've already looked and I cannot find them for the life of me. So now I'm just showing you guys me mixing my paint and my glitters into the resin. And I switched between both the liquid diamonds and the promarine. For more of my pieces that needed more like color like this one, I used the promarine. And the, later on in the video you'll see I make the snowflake and this... Um, snow globe that were like very clear i use liquid diamonds just because it's really bubble free but it is very like liquidy so usually with color pieces i do not like to use um the liquid diamonds one and the promarine really holds color very well so that's why i use that one so i've already poured some of my resin pieces but the pocky on the left hand side you guys see me just putting a small layer of the um resin because later on i'm going to do a backing color so that i can have the rim of it one color and then the back another color because as you guys can see after i waited a few hours for it to get really tacky not completely dry but like tacky so that i can just go ahead and pour over the white because if I do it at the same time the colors will mix and that is not what I want so that's why I just wait a few hours. just showing you the process again of me mixing my resin and then doing the same thing with putting that thin layer and leaving the backed part of the shaker so that I can pour um, the white later on and I'm just mixing and 
I'm also going to use my Dollar Tree mold here that I already painted. It actually, the pieces came out really cute with this and I really like the this mold a lot. It just sucked that when I bought it, I didn't realize there was a hole in it. I just like picked it up and took it and then when I got home, I'm just like, where did this hole come from? <laughs> So after waiting 24 hours, this is how all the pieces turned out and I'm actually really happy with how everything came out because I was not sure if they were going to come out good because you never know. With resin, it can come out ugly or cute so I'm just really happy that everything turned out the way that I wanted them to. Now I'm taking Fimo clay and these miniature cookie cutters that I got from Hobby Lobby. They are so cute. And one of my followers gave me the idea to make um, mini cookies to put inside of the charms. So um, her at name is Affinity Koi Dreams. I'm going to leave it on the um, screen here. But basically what I'm doing is just using the, the cookie cutters and pressing into the clay. And then I'm going to take some pigment and I'm going to use it to kind of give it a nice like brown color effect to them like they were just actually baked. Once I'm done adding the pigment to them, I'm going to put them in the oven for 6 minutes at 350 degrees. And what I decided to do a little bit different with my cookies is make them look like they're frosted. So I'm taking this Sculpty Bakeable Medium and some acrylic paint and I'm going to mix that together. And then I'm going to use a dotting tool to paint them onto the cookies. Once I'm done painting everything, I'm going to put them back in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake them for 6 minutes. And this is how they turned out. So aside from just the cookies that I showed you how I make for the fillers for the Sacred Charms, I'm also going to use some of these Christmas beads that I showed and some other beads that I found on AliExpress, Joann's, this glitter that I think I got at Michael's and some fillers 
that um, I've found at Hobby Lobby. I'll try to link everything down below, but I already know some of this stuff was sold out because I did find it in stores and I tried to look online and I couldn't find some of these stuff, but I'm gonna try my best, but yeah. So I'm gonna actually go in and um, paint this Christmas tree that I made because I didn't want to pour resin for the star part just because I wasn't sure if it was gonna um, mess up while it's like curing so i decided just to go in with acrylic paint and a dotting tool and paint it and then i waited a bit to dry before i put together any of the shaker charms for that now i'm showing you guys the whole process of me filling my shaker charms i usually just like to pour some stuff into them first and then i'll move them around take stuff out add in different things it just really depends but i wanted to show you guys like whole my whole little thought process i guess of how i put together my shaker charms because usually my videos I already have them um curated beforehand but this is what i how i do it and it does take me a while because sometimes i'll think i like something and then i'll just change it around Some of my filler pieces are actually buttons that I found at Michael's and Hobby Lobby and I also believe Joann's. So I'm just going to take some pliers to cut off the backs and like rip them off because if I don't, it won't, it'll be too high for the shaker portion of the charm and also they'll have a little slant to them so that's why I try to really make sure to cut all of, off all of those pieces. So with this snow globe charm, I decided to actually paint in snow using acrylic paint. When you um, actually pour the baby oil into the piece, it will not upset the paint that you put into it. Just make sure you make, make it dry completely. And now I'm just putting in that um, sticker Christmas tree into it and then some Christmas lights and then painting on a string of lights. I don't know where I was going with this piece. I just thought it would look cute and I think it did end up looking cute but it was kind of like an on the whim kind of thing when I put it together. After filling in the um, shaker charms and adding the transparency film and everything like that, I'm going to go into putting the baby oil into them. If you want to leave them as dry shakers, you can go ahead and just dome the pieces, but I prefer mine to be liquid shakers because I love the effect that baby oil gives to them when the, shake, the filler pieces are falling. And I have a whole dedicated video showing you all how I make my shaker charms. Just click the i card above or click the link down in my description box to watch that. So that's why I'm not going to really explain or show every single thing that I do when I make my shaker charms. Just because I don't want to make this video any longer than it already is. <laughs> Now I'm just doming the front of the charms and I have a whole video showing you all how I dome the front and backs of my charms. I just didn't show you guys um, me doming the backs of them because I didn't want to, like I said before, I don't want to make this video any longer than it already is. But yeah, just click the i card above for that video or the link will also be in my description box below.
and this is how all of the charms turned out after doming the front and backs of them and I'm really happy with the results of how everything turned out there are a few B grade charms which means that there's some defects to them but I really do love how they turned out they're like super duper cute I do plan on selling these charms it will probably be this weekend sometime I'll let you guys know because I know some people ask me if I sell the charms in my videos and I do it's just that it takes me a while to put them up because i have so much other stuff going on but i hope you guys like this video don't forget to comment like subscribe and share this video with friends and i'll see you guys in my next video bye now